right, in this video I'll be explaining how to make a Super Mario 64 TAS and submit to the currently running SM64 TAS comp on Discord. So you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a Moopin, which is the emulator which you use to run the game and TAS on. Um, you're going to need uh, a Super Mario 64 ROM. This is basically a file that holds the cartridge information. And you're gonna have to get um, a state for the currently running task. I'll put links uh, for all this information and all these files in the description. Okay, so once you have uh, downloaded the Moopin repack, uh, you can just open it and run it right from the folder. So you go in there, and here you have the Moopin executable. Just run that, okay. So here we have Moopin. Uh, there's a bunch of settings that you might want to um, change. Uh, for example, uh, if you want to play on keyboard or with a controller, you can go to Options, Settings, uh, and under Input Plugin, you can go to Configure. And here you can configure your button, uh, button layout for uh, playing the game. And you can also see under uh, Hotkeys, there's a bunch of important hotkeys for making a task uh, that will allow you to do stuff like uh, advance frames, uh, make save states, lo load save states and start recording movies and stuff like that. After you've had a look at these and um, set up your uh, inputs, you can go ahead and load the ROM. The easiest way to do this is to simply drag and drop your ROM in here and will automatically start playing the game. Uh, you'll also get this little widget thingy. Uh, you might want to make it always on top. All right. So here we have Moopin and we have our task input window and this will allow you to change the joystick and do inputs by just clicking these boxes. Uh, of course, you can always also just use the um, input settings that you've used. So you can use both. So you can both use your keyboard and your or your controller, uh, or you can use this task input plugin. Okay, so I'll very quickly give you an example of what it looks like when you um, make a task. So for this, we're going to take uh, the assignment or the task uh, for last task which was task number two. Uh, what you do is load the state for the task by simply dragging and dropping. And this is going to put us in Womp's Fortress. And I'm pressing backslash to advance frames right now. I'm gonna make a couple of save states by pressing shift and um, pressing all of the F keys. And as you can see, that's filling up all my save state slots with uh, states right here and I can also press the pause unpause key on the keyboard to uh, pause or to unpause the game so now everything is running at full speed um, I can use my keyboard to just walk around because that's what I uh, set in my input settings all right okay so first thing to know is uh, save states so we made a bunch of save states just now uh, all of them are the same, so state 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can load all of them by just pressing the F keys. Um, okay, so I, if, when I press backslash, we pause the game and we go back to just advancing the game one frame at a time. And you'll have to get used to these uh, hotkeys, but if you just play around with it for a while, it, uh, it shouldn't be that hard to learn. So what does it look like when we actually uh, make a task? So the previous task was to uh, start from this state right here. And after we start, we have to uh, kill four bob and then uh, finish by getting the top, of the top of the fortress star. So let's very quickly make a task. One thing that might uh, help a lot with tasking is the um, input direction Lua. Uh, you don't have to use it, but it at least shows you some information about the game. Uh, so to do that, it's actually included in the repack. 
uh, you could just press Lua script new instance and then you have to browse to your uh, Moopin repack folder well we can actually just do that but this is your Moopin repack folder there should be a fa file called input direction dev dot Lua so just open that one and press run and then you can minimize this window over here and here you can see we have a bunch of extra information about the game uh, especially Mario's position and speed and you can also uh, use all of these buttons to like make sure Mario uh, moves at a specific angle or the joystick is held at a specific angle so for example here we have angle zero quarter turn another quarter turn another quarter turn and another quarter turn so this is slightly advanced you don't technically have to use this but once you get used to tasking this this kind of stuff will help a lot but for now we'll just disable it and make a very simple task yeah let's just start right here and we want to start recording a movie so we press Control shift r then we get this uh, asks us where to uh, save the file so we're just going to call it great tasks and start from safe state very important uh, get a name in there description doesn't really matter so we're starting from a safe state all right and now it says recording gameplay so we are recording gameplay now you can record tasks frame by frame and you can make states and load states as you would expect but you can also just play it in real time by once again just pressing the pause break button on your keyboard um, so we're recording right now you can see uh, which frame of the recording we are on in the bottom left if this effort disappears that means that you're no longer recording and maybe you've done something wrong so it's good to pay attention to this it's also a good idea to just fill up all of your safe state slots with a frame that's actually inside of your movie so you can't mess that up and uh, now I'm just gonna make the test I'm gonna unpause so it's constantly recording right now and you can see I can actually test uh, in real time by just uh, playing the game now the goal was to kill four ball bombs so let's just kill this one and kill this one now let's I press the backslash to pause the game let's make a state state number two has been saved so I can always continue from here on pause uh, try to get up the slope if I can yeah I managed to do it all right let's kill this ball bomb without falling off let's get uh, no I guess we don't need that ball bomb let's try to get up here with a triple jump which is kind of hard so we'll make another state let's see if we can pull it off apparently we can't so we have to reload the state so normally you just do this frame by frame There we go. Okay, let's kill this ball bomb. Okay, and now all we need to do is just go to the top of the fortress. Uh, let's just make another safe state right here. And just climb up. Take the elevator. And here's the star, and we can go and collect the star. Okay, there we go. and now we can press Control shift s to finish our task and there we go recording stopped so now we can re-watch our recording by just dragging that m64 file that we created so here we have great task at m64 we can just drag it in there and when we unpause uh, it'll start playing there we go i'll speed it up a bit but uh yeah, we kill four of the ball bombs. And we make it up to the top. And there we go. Another useful thing to know is how to edit a task that you've made previously. So the easiest way to do this is by pressing uh, Control Shift P for play. And then you get this 
window over here. And here you can browse to one of the tasks you've made. So here we have break task.m64. We can open it. And then uh, we have this checkbox checkbox right here, which is very important. It says open read only. Uh, if this checkbox is checked, then uh, it will have opened the file read only and nothing you do will alter uh, the file. So you can make states and load states uh, while watching your movie and it won't do anything. Uh, but if you don't have it checked, you do actually have the option to uh, change your inputs and change your movie. So what that would be like is um, just not having this checkbox checked, pressing OK. Your movie will start to play. And now you have to be a little bit careful to not make or load any si any states. Uh, you can just play the movie up until the point where you want to change it. So let's say we want to change it right here. What we would do is make a new state. And it's important to remember which state that is. So for example, let's make a new state in slot number 5. Okay. And now, once we reload this state, so we saved state number five, and now we can load state number five, um, you will see that um, if we don't hold anything, Mario stops moving. So from this point on, we've, we're have we just starting to create a new task branching off of our old one. And as long as you do this, in uh, these specific steps, uh, everything everything should be okay. If you try to load states from other movies or that weren't in the movie, uh, things can go wrong. And sometimes your frame counter in the bottom left will disappear. So it's important to be careful with this. So now that we've completed task two, we can go to the uh, task competition 2022 discord and we can uh, submit our tasks by simply messaging taskcompbot over here. And when you send him uh, your files, so your M64 and your state file, uh, it'll uh, save the files and automatically time your run and it'll tell you if your run um, actually um, follows all of the task rules. What I've shown so far is task number two and the currently running task is task number three. Uh, task number three requires you to uh, start from this state, which puts you in Lethal Lava Land. You start around here, Mario starts at low health, and all you need to do is grab this star that's uh, around here. Uh, there's a bunch of custom placed red coins that you can use uh, if you want to heal, but all of them are optional. You can just get started with this state and by starting to learn how to task. If you have any questions, uh, you can just go to the Discord and go to General or to Task Questions. And um, yeah, you, you can get all the help you need uh, with setting up Moopin or making a task or any questions you might have about the task. Once the task uh, ends, once the deadline uh, is reached, uh, there will be a reveal stream and you'll get to see your tasks along with uh, everyone else's tasks and you can see uh, how well you did. Uh, yep, so that's about it. Uh, I hope some of you are interested in creating your first SM64 tasks and uh, maybe um, submitting to the task competition.